Okay, good morning. So, uh, music is great. Okay, so we're just going to stick with the main story, I guess. Not sure what's going on over here. Let's see. Duplicates, test. I'm just going to leave this all in the default setting. I'm not really sure what's... So what have we got here? Cavalier. Uh, while many warriors strive to perfect their art, spending all of their time honing their skill at martial arms, they spend as much effort dedicating themselves to a cause. These warriors known as cavaliers for themselves to a purpose, serving it above all else. Cavaliers are skilled at fighting from horseback and are often found charging across the battlefield with the symbol of their order trailing on a long, fluttering banner. The cavalier's true power comes from the convictions of his ideal, the oath that he swears, and the challenges he makes. Interesting. Or a cleric? What is this person now? Oriad. What the heck is an Oriad? Uh -huh. Okay, more capable of holding up the honor of the deities in battles, cars often prove stalwart and capable combatants. Their true strength lies in their capability to draw upon the power of their deities. Whether to increase their own or their allies' prowess in battle, to hex their foes with divine magic, or to lend healing companions in need, as their powers are influenced by their faith, all clerics must focus their worship on a divine source. Unilard. Fighters excel in combat, defeating enemies, controlling the flow of battle, surviving such sorties themselves. While their specific weapons and methods are grabbed by a wide variety of attacks, you can ma ever match fighters for sure battle prowess. The rogue as he's a gnome, a nasty, gnarly gnome. Rogues excel at moving in and about unseen and catching close unawares and intent to avoid head, head combat. Their varied skills and abilities allow them to be highly versatile, with great variations in expertise existing between different rogues. However, um, most however excel in overcoming hindrances of all types, from unlocking doors and disarming traps to outwitting magical hazards and conning dull witted opponents. This is interesting. Marna, the Tiefling Slayer. Skilled at tracking down targets, Slayers are consummate hunters, living for the chase and the deadly struggle that brings it to a close. Slayers spend most of their time honing their weapon skills, studying the habits and anatomy of foes, and practicing combat. Sneak attack, interesting. And, uh,. Angie, Angie, I guess. Chosen to excel at casting selection of favorite spells, frequently making them powerful battle magics as they become familiar with a specific and ever widening set of spell sources, often discovering new and versatile ways of making these use of magics other spell characters might go overlook. Their bloodlines also grant them additional abilities, assuring that no two sources are ever quite alike. Next. Mm, do we 
go full edgelord. I just want to see what the options are. Let's go full. Let's, you know, look at this edgelord right here. I like some of the pictures they're giving us, though. I've got these foxes, too. And this nerd. Um, man, there's all kinds of them. Look at these great pictures, though. Um, I kind of wish there was more pictures. Can I... Oh, wow, neat. I can import a custom picture. Cool. I was sorely missing from the, the previous. Let's go with this this clown. I guess he's supposed to be a mage of some kind. That's fun. Huh. All right. Um. Yeah. Good enough for now. Next. I do not care to be an alchemist. Cleric, traitor, human, inquisitor, kineticist, monk, oracle, paladin. Try to figure out what a cavalier does that a paladin does not. Interesting. Beast rider. Cavalier of the Paw, Sub of the Pike, for some leader. Gendarme. For those of you who don't know, Gendarme is a policeman in French. Knight of the Wall. Static bear. Hmm. Interesting. Inquisitor. Just haven't figured out what the heck that does. Oracle, what the heck does this do? The, oh, hold on. Oracles are powerful divine spellcasters who have access to the most powerful divine magic. They can effectively heal and empower their allies or devastate their enemies. Oracles have an access to a limited number of spells and only gain new ones as they advance level. This makes them more or less flexible. They can cast more spells for needing rest. Okay, so I think an oracle is like the favored soul. Shamans are divine spellcasters, there's access to the strongest spells of this type. Shamans have a great versatility in terms of customizing their build for the player's preferred style. Depending on the chosen specialization, a shaman can massacre enemies to support and heal allies or control and weaken the foes. However, playing as a shaman is pretty difficult, it's not recommended for new players. I would agree. Scald. Scald is a combination of a furious fight and a power and allying it. They usually fight in melee, can employ limited number of spells, and can heal and empower the party members. Their songs inspire battle rage and their teammates, making those fighting weapons stronger. Okay, so that's like a, probably like a bard. And that needed to be a separate thing I don't know. War priest. War priests apply both cold weapons and a vast array of sacred spells. They are affecting both offense and defense, can heal and empower allies, and they have an ability to channel energy to heal or damage multiple targets. So that's sort of like the mages, I guess. Witch. Witches are potent arcane spellcasters who can employ the strongest spells. They are especially good at controlling and weakening their enemies, both with spells and unique magic abilities called hexes. Witches can also heal and empower their allies less effectively than some other classes. This is difficult class to play for a newcomer. Under sword learning a trickster. All right. Let's see if the paladin options got any better. Uh, paladins are fighting evil on the front lines. They're good in destroying especially powerful evil creatures. As they advance, they gain access to a small number of baseline spells, moving mostly on healing and power themselves and their allies. The paladin must be a lawful good alignment or they will lose most of their powers. Divine 
Okay, so they lose. So what is this caustic slay on hands? These removes and guarding hands is gained. Alright. What about stone waters? So it gives you so it gives you guarding hands, but Martyr. Stigmata, what does this do? So we're losing Smite Evil. Honestly, Smite Evil doesn't mean that much to me because it didn't do doesn't do much, especially in the, the, the end of the last game. I couldn't use it because everything was neutral. Or Curve Divine Faith and Mercy, what, what is it costing me? Power of Faith, this... Alright, what is this? Okay. So what is it? What am I gaining? It comes at a steep price. But I'm like, what am I what am I getting that I'm not Aura of Faith. What is this there? Okay, so it doesn't give me aura. I don't get aura of faith anymore. I, I, I literally don't know what this is doing. sure what it's given up other than I'm not getting my aligned weapons at level 14. Hmm. Not sure what I'm looking at here. Let's look at the monks. Since his revered teacher will impart essence in the oneness of mind, body, and spirit, along with the occasional correction that is subtle and swift, rather than using wisdom for his own benefit alone, he uses it to better those around him. Alright, Quarter Mouse, Staff Master, Scaled Fist. So high. Master's Parson Hunts in Stone. Gives it up for resilience. Traditional monk. Zen archer. Interesting that that's just an outright option. Um, and there's a part of me that really wants to try the beast rider. Good. 
Brother of the Paw. Set up the Pike. There's an animal companion, first and leader. Blood Rager, what likes this? Blood Rager's are berserkers who used to come to the bridge to increase their power in melee fight. They can use a basic set of arcane skills, mostly to empower themselves. As Blood Rager advances, they gain immunity to certain enemies' tactical advantages. Okay, so this is a Blood Rider. Green Ranger. It's Blood Rager, okay. Interesting. Reformed Fiend. Teachings of the Light God say that everyone deserves the right to redemption. Everyone except the demons. Reformed Fiends are demons who have entered the path of good, although they still look monsters in the eyes of the of most living. No one will dare to doubt that the rage which they fight with, the creatures of evil, the source that would need the most in these difficult times. That's kind of funny. No. Interesting. Um. I, don't, I legitimately don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know. We'll try the Warrior of the Holy Light because it seems like nothing was changing. So, um, what we got is op options here. Do you want to go full, full dimwit? What is an Oriad, anyways? Oriad's a human whose ancestry includes a touch of an elemental being or of Earth somewhere along the line, often that of a Shaitan genie. Stoic and con contemplative Oriads are raised not easily moved yet, and stop one spur to action. They remain a mystery to most of the world thanks to their reclusive nature. Those who seek them out in their secluded mountain hideaways often find ours to be quiet, dependable, and protected with their friends. Okay. Can't help but note that it's not showing what my bonuses are. Um, down here, that's interesting. It's just level drain. Raging tree harms, I'm looking at them, interesting. Pinch resistance is always helpful. Kitsune, I mean, come on. Katsuni or fox folks are bullet point shape figures known for the love of both trickery and art. Katsuni possess two forms have an attractive human, a slender build, and salient eyes, and their true form of an anthropomorphic fox. Despite an irresistible penchant for deception, Katsuni prize loyalty and make true companions. They delight in the art, particularly riddles and storytellings, and sell in ancestral plans, making their wisdom for both living and spirits. Do this. Let's do it like this. Heritage. All right. Let's just have a look at that. See that what that gives me. Asimov. Angel kin. Angel kin are paragons of exceptional beauty and serve as exemplars of faith, good and light, and mercy. Are very forms they can take. Angel blooded Asimovs have a plus two racial bonus to strength and charisma, and a plus two racial bonus to lore. Use magic to buy. Okay, well, let's constitution and charisma. Intelligence of Charisma. Constitution of Wisdom. Starting Charisma. Okay, so I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Oh, a Garuda Blooded. Neat. Background selection, man, what does this do? Okay. 
Okay. It's Korean Ocean. Back about another pickpocket. this kind of Hold on. Read on River Kingdoms. I like the ones they gave us. Urban Hunter. Look at that. Does that like have a requirement? We're gonna have proficiency all these proficiencies anyway. Um, anything that adds skill proficiencies. Seeking us exhausting. What's this do? Courtier, station of trickery. Give us a lot of build points, that was generous. Um, Let's see, what 
do that. Persuasion. Perception is not a class skill, that sucks. Um, well, it's rolled, I guess. Tempted to take blind, uh, blind fight early, but I can focus on sword next. And with that, how did I take the last time? I think it was Yama Day. So I had the last time. Next. It's good, next. Body type. I'll be a skinny bitch. I don't want to be that kid either. Let's see that. Um. Oh, no. No. Hmm. I don't like that one. Stick with that. Scar, my, my color, my color. I guess I don't get to pick. So that's a scar. My color is a no go. Hairstyle. Oh, we're not doing a man bun. That's a little Steve Rogers for my taste. Let's uh. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe we'll just go with the uh, Caesar cut beard. Oh, let's see what we got for a beard. Yes. There we go. That's a little more like it. Now we can rough this guy up a bit. That's a little more like it. Oh, well, now we're starting to get there. Ooh, look at that. I just go with the brown, but that's kind of boring. Yeah, it's like the yellow. That's fine. And it kind of makes me think that the skin color should be darker then. There you go. Alright. Um, more paint. Can't even see it under the hair, so what? Why bother? Clothes color. Ooh. It's just what is it changing? Oh, it's just changing the trim. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Good enough. Next. I'll take care of it. I shall not falter. Uh, that's like the classic. And what are we going to call this guy? We're going to call him... Uh, morning. So many choices. I know, Mikey. It is so many choices. We're going to call him... Let's come up with something. Let's go. Better yet, Misha Collins. I think that's his name, right? Yeah. There we go. Uh, his birthday is going to be. Oh, you just got to you just got to click your way to it. So. We'll... Defeat is not an option. Indeed. Misha Collins, it is not an option. 
All right, there's a full bit Blinky the Paladin. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with this. There's a fair to moderate chance I'm gonna throw this thing right out the window, but I, this is the first time I've I've seen it. So let's see what we got. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? His chairman force of an elderly man, but who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. O oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor, Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. So it seems that Holrun is a paladin. Uh, am I stoic? I'm gonna my grip my teeth. are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? Hmm. Looks like we're getting a preview. Before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I am Misha Collins. I'm a crusader. I came to fight demons. I've been in private business, lived in the city for a long time. I'm a traveler. Just passing by. I don't remember. Misha Collins. That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? <laughs> My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. Be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canopris. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Wondering discontentedly, the old man walks off. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. Dramatic. There. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. Thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. 
I am the protector of this city. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Uh, that's different. What happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Well, you're not much of a dragon, are you? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Call on my lawyer. You buggered it up. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Can't argue there. And this is a city poisoned the border between two worlds. One on the one side, the ordinary world inhabited by ordinary people, and then whatever just happened. Um, um, what? Let's see if this is uh, still the same buttons. There we go. Uh, on one side, the ordinary world inhabited by the ordinary people. On the other, a world wound, the demon's foothold on Galarian. Heroes from across the world flock to Canabras to the Crusader cause. The protracted war offers little cause for celebration, but today is the anniversary of the city's founding. For today, the city's main square has been cleared of marching troops and is given over to performers and carnival games. The townsfolk deserve the chance to forget about the bloodshed, if only for a day. You've got a break from the fighting time. Square's packed with numerous entertainment. It's time to set their thoughts aside of war and enjoy. All right. So this just seems like uh, more of the same, but better. Looks nicer. The interface looks nicer. All the little tchotchkes look great. The interface is nice and tight and clean. Got some positive things to say about that. If I stick with this nerd, I'm definitely going to have to get me a different photo because this is just harshing my buzz right now. I wonder if that's an option, if I can go back into my thing and change the photo. I'd be rad if that was an option. Somewhere if there's a way to... Uh, shift the photo I mean other than the fact that the hair is the wrong color it is fairly similar but noble guard stranger do all you nerds got something to say to the city happy city day to the city to the city okay so none of you nerds got nothing to say to the city I do like the maple got some positive things to say about the maple Looking was for somebody with a name. Anybody with a name? Now, this is the douche that said to throw us into a into a ditch. What? Jana Aldori. Let's go talk to her. Characters and interactive objects. You can interact with various objects such as doors and characters by clicking right mouse button on them. Some objects have an icon above this allow you to attack the characters. So tab to highlight all interactive objects and show the interaction points. I'm using the left mouse button, to be honest. And I've been a crusader for five whole days. What does this say? Ooh, look at that!
The obsidian special with the city's footing the bill. What do you say? Another round? Okay, so how do I rotate the how do I rotate the camera then? Options. Controls. So first order of business. Keyboard hotkeys. Move camera up, move camera down. Rotate camera left and right. Okay. So Q and E. Rotate the camera. Oh my god, that's uh, I was like <laughs> I would have killed to have this option in the last thing. Alright, that's cool. So I can rotate. Although it does kind of make me want to barf a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit. I mean it's not wrong. It's just a little bit weird. All right, first order of business. We got to go into the options. We got to go into the graphics. And we got to figure out if there's bloom in here. I'll turn that crap the heck off. What the heck? Just a tritonopia to your screen. Okay, so I guess this is doing something. I don't know. These are big. These are big boy words, and I don't know what that means. Get the hell out of here. Boom. Screw right off with that boom. Ah, oh, the sharpness. I'm not into sword Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. It's not that sword Jesus isn't red, because I I'm I am sword Jesus, but the problem is it's just the wrong hair color. If it was the right hair color, I'd be fine with it. celebration because paltry imitation of what goes on in my match in a dull toil day something like that like that girl oh maybe she's got a name hello everybody's getting their hair down everybody's drinking everybody's having a good time but the theme inspires never let up so it means no fun for me and these people some of these people are real stuck in the mud Got a name, talk to Toronto love again. Come with your suffering. I sure hope so, Dragon Lady. I mean, we're being honest. He's rocking out luck harder than than Sidani, so you know. What's this do? Lords of Change from uh, Warhammer. This can't be good. Dragon. The next, 
Bam! She was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. Yeah, damn, like, she just did her in. Oh, neat. Titanopia is blue color, blue yellow colorblind. That's interesting. I've seen you somewhere before. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Who's Discari? Must have got a good drubbing around the head, brother. Discari's a demon lord, the most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. And apparently the Lord of Grasshoppers. All right. Um, what's the situation in the city? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. Places crawling with demons. Grasshoppers. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks. But if we're sitting ducks, that's good because ducks eat grasshoppers, right? Care to me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it. Said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord, even. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! Why do I feel that this is not the way to go with this project? My halfling crossbow versus gigantic grasshopper daddy. Snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. It seems we've not been having a great day. This is, we're definitely having a hard case of the Mondays right now. The silver dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. I, I miss Lindsay's little voice. It hurts me inside. Into the pit, Sword Jesus. Now, now I kind of wish I changed my name to Sword Jesus. <laughs> All right, in we go. We just, it's like, I just feel bad. Like, she didn't even get a shot in. Like, she changed him back into a dragon. And he just, like, he just gave her a hard hack to the noggin. Devoured by darkness. The festival organized to raise the spirits of the city has ended in death and destruction. Those lucky enough to hit the J button and continue reading. Ended up in the ancient catacombs beneath Canabras. Catacombs in which, to the rumors say, lives a brood of bloodthirsty humanoid creatures. Find other survivors. Right? Let's check my inventory. Light crossbow. So I actually did tag him with something, I guess. Certainly the angelic powers of Misha Collins will not fail me. Ooh, I like that. That's, that's fun. Being able to rotate the camera is, like, is god tier. It's so good. That guy's looking like he's got a hard dead happening. Yeah, I'm thinking, thinking his day's been a little bit worse than mine. Our path leads on. Uh, oh, holy mother of... Language. A small woman with messy brown hair winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses through her clenched teeth and is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? 
I'm going to take this opportunity to say something that might come off as a little less than PC, but I am glad that we have Sila, and they actually got Black Lady to do her voice. I'm that makes me happy. It's it's the small details that matter. I feel him all right. When say no to a little less feeling in him. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Tarenda left healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Spouting you, the night reaches for her sheep weapon after scrutinizing her pace momentarily, she realizes her hand in greeting. During the course of the game, you will have the up uh, to apply your skills in many different situations. Frequently, we will have to make a skill check during the dialogue. Here, for example, you are trying to help Sila fetch Anivia from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determines how things pan out. There. Athletics. Can I make what is my athletics current athletics check? Ah, oh, god damn it. Why should we? <laughs> That's a paladin thing to say. Sword Jesus says, <laughs> I love a winner. She got trapped. <laughs> Um, I'm dumb as a stump, so let's try it. Let's try for the athletics check. Oh my god, seriously? Come on, people. Damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And, well... I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's Herald, with the Goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabrace will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? My name is Richard Collins. <laughs> I'm a paladin like Sila. A fellow crusader! <laughs> Welcome, brother. This is great. I would have been happy to have any companion in this. But it's nice to be stuck down here with somebody who's my kind of crazy. It's a good thing you've still got your faith. Because right now, to be totally honest, faith's probably the only thing we do have. Oh, look at that. In the background, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but there's... Um... Very pale calligraphy behind the thing. There's some really nice touches on this. I really like the the interface. Now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way around. Okay, continue. Summarize. There are three of us with five working legs, Three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters, beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. 
party now has several characters. Select one of them, click on their portrait to use the appropriate key. Okay. To select characters and give them all a command, either drag a box around them while holding the left mouse button, or click the portraits of the desired characters with shift plus left mouse button. Just collect all your characters, press backspace. As a curiosity, I will guide us. This drives me nuts. I'm gonna load game. I'm gonna load this. Why? You're like, why would you do that? And I'm like, because I failed a 12 athletics check. So we're gonna be a minute. Just so we're clear on that. Because that is making me a sad panda. So we're gonna quick save it here. Oh, the quick save is much better. Okay, hey, hey. Continue, continue, athletics club. So the save, save scumming starts early. Uh, damn it all. I think it's, it's broken. Well, I'm, yeah, things are looking grim enough. Good to. I don't know that we can, uh. Big rolls. Big rolls. Yes! 48 XP. It's still broken. Fine, but I got 48 XP for it. Things are looking grim enough, but. I was just like, Sila. That's a good. To summarize. Yeah, okay. Got all of that. Never not had. Turn based mode. Always. Oops, can I zoom out more? Yes. Is there anything else down here we can interact with? Is it just me, or does it seem like containers will find a lot of objects contain loot, enemy corpses, boxes, barrels, and many other environmental elements? To see what's inside a container, approach it and interact with it as many other interactive objects. Why is she so far ahead of me? Why am I not in the lead? Um, collect all. See what we got here. Thank you. Loot. Nice. Really, this the interface is just, you know, chef's kiss. It really looks good. Cold iron great sword. Long sword. I am proficient with long swords. Should at this point it's not really I don't have a shield, so I might as well stick with that. Surprisingly, it gives a cold iron weapon this early. Um I like that the weapon set is right, like right here now. Um, I guess we'll just stick with this. Cold iron greatsword. Wait, what? Oh no, it's a short spear. I was gonna say that's confusing. It's nice that they gave us a what was that? A cloak resistance. Cool. Skin out. All right. Let's check my party formation here. We don't know why. I was gonna say, I don't know why we're, uh... What's this? A Lorendal of Scale. Explore life to a deceased party member. Raise creatures number hit points equal to... Okay, cool. So somebody, they just gave you a, a res in case you're, you're hard failing at everything. Who's there? Camellia, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. Find a pearl of a young half elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with dignity that you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party and not in the dark catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw at a moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body, so immediately that at first glance it's hard to tell if it's animal or human. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Indeed, I'm, I'm going to be failing a lot of athletics checks, just FYI. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... When... I can scarcely believe it. 
How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. Not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord, not even Terendalev. I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Terendalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. It's a little stilted, but the lines are, I mean, it's hard to sell these kind of, these sort of, uh, sort of flowery lines, I guess. What happened to this part? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier. And I also possess some knowledge of magic. So she's a mages, maybe? Do you want to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? We need to keep moving. There must be a way back to the surface somewhere around That's here. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. <sighs> companion Chameleon has the ability to cure light wounds. To use it, click on the Companion's portrait. Click on the icon with the cure light wounds in the bar. You can click on the Companion Chameleon's portrait to heal her. Okay. You can trust me. Nice. Alright, so what is she? Yeah, almost certainly she's a mages. Camille has boots. He used talent in her favor. She tirelessly fights demons and cultists alike, but prefers to keep her distance from her fellow warriors. It's hard to tell if this is arrogance inherent in some people with noble birth, or she has another reason for letting her companions at arm's length. Oh, interesting. Undetectable. Spirit hunter. How? Oh, she's a shaman. Interesting. No idea what that means, but we'll take it from here. Quick save that. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was just thinking, trust me. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. I'm going to hard pass on what you just recommended. I love we this. Are the they are the darkness. Agreed. Combat begins, the game is paused. The pause is convenient to give orders to your characters. I would agree. I don't know, like, I'm... I'm thinking that she, she seems an awful lot like... She's a... A magus, but I don't know. I don't know. What does this do? Let's try that. I'll cut you wide open. Ooh. Alright. So apparently these guys are. Guide my blade. 
into the fray. Okay, so most of this seems pretty much the same. Cool. All right. You got to get used to the camera rotation a little bit. Uh, what we got here? Bag of armor, gold, and some tchotchkes. Inventory. Let's see what we got. What's she using. Change to it better than the padded armor. Almost certainly, yes. Scale. Press on. Um. Strike as one. Do not fear. Do not waver. Turn-based mode characters attack in turns. The order depends on the turn of the initiative check. Okay, got that. Gotcha. Um. Delay. Oh, all right. Yes. The light take you. The inheritor guide my blade. Attack. We shall overcome. The spirits demand your blood. Into the fray. Nice. You know, it's awesome not missing. is coming in oh she fights too nice she fights as an npc cool you are today's sacrifice go okay. for their hearts yeah, she's done the light take you flame time it's okay we march ahead i was over here one for me no glory without risk I'll cut you wide open strike as one the inheritors guide my blade Your blood. You are today's sacrifice. Attack into the fray. Huh. Uh. Go for their hearts. I'll cut you wide open. We shall overcome. Get that, Mish Collins. Flipped wounds, mace, some healing potions, braces, farmer. What's on your mind? I wonder. It should work. Is it flawed? It should work. Is it flawed? Magritium Turinos. This mess spell, what does that do? Oh, neat. Okay, so that's cool. That's an interesting, uh, that's sort of like for the problems they had with, um, like webs and stuff when you're like sitting around waiting for an hour for your web to clear or whatever. So you can just dismiss the spell out, right? Poor girl here is just uh, having a bad day. Draw the back. Defeat is not an option. 
Ooh, it's an The spirits demand your blood! Do not hold back. Strike as one. The inheritor. Guide my. Oh, this one's a little tankier. Into the fray! Okay. You are today's sacrifice! Attack! No reason to pause. I didn't miss anything along the map. Edge here. Looks like not. Nah. I will guide us. That's not. Uh... What we got here? No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. You struggle to make up the man's features in the gloom as soon as you step in the circle of light. However, you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like the work of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. When do walk? The man knows so you can freeze as the curling heart between your criminal's head casts a malevolent shadow on the cave wall. When do walk? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The woman looks like a stranger companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. If she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into a fighting stance. Her movements would be the lethal grace of a wild predator. Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait. They might know what's going on up there. Demons are laying ways to Kenebris. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. Are you tieflings? Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> you just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the uplanders call us. But we call ourselves neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not going to stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. I've never heard of underground crusaders before. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. <sighs> Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are, and they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. What is this place? This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this, trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. This is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are 
not lived in vain. Huh, the first Crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. What are you doing here? That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. You think you're special, Lan? Okay. I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Wendwag shrugs and turns away. Ah. Uh... Does it really lead to the surface? Yes. There are other ways up, but they are far from here. And after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders. The time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. <laughs> Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. The Sword of Holy Flame? How did it wind up down here? It came here with its owner. A long time ago. 50,000 gongs, to be precise. 70 years ago, in Uplander time. 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock. And no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan, watch your tongue. I'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help. Uh, thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? 
What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Some interactive objects aren't easy to find. When moving past an object, make a character, uh, each character automatically makes a perception skill check. If this check is successful, the object is found and highlighted to draw your exact attention to it. You can now interact with the interactive objects are highlighted when you hover your mouse tab over them or press tab. This task is beyond me. drives me bananas should have quick saved it there's probably 48 xp i'm leaving on the table right now found anything that is quite a discovery Looks like an improvised museum or perhaps some kind of temple. Hell, what is that? Godspeed. What do we have here? All kinds of stuff. Let's keep looking around. Let us press on. I found something. What's that there? I found uh, something. A strange flash pierces the gloom of Misha Call and feels drops of searing blood run down his chest. The wound, healed by Torrenda Lev, reopens and weeps scarlet, but there is no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, a cave chamber, this one or another one entirely. Misha Collins' heartbeat quickens and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into his mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery, they betrayed me, trapped me, and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect, the people with whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. There they are, up ahead in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Do they believe I am about to die from their traitorous blows? Next to me, a quiet moan. A girl with a golden braid lies on the rocks, clutching her slashed side. She refused to join the traitors and paid dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not. Also, I still have strength. I must. I recognize the foreign origin of the thought. Major Collins intuits that he cannot control himself. Now, let's try to heal, heal the wounded girl. The spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene before Misha Collins. The wounded girl opens her eyes and whispers, Lariel, you, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said that you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever. Is that true? The frenzy of foreign thoughts comes faster and faster, like a rushing river, and images flash in one another. A priestess in colorful robes observing the stars, a young female paladin praying, clutching her glowing sword. A majestic golden-winged angel gazing into the distance, his face covered by a helmet, but his voice rang clear. Only if you're willing and only if you're ready. There is no going back. And don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is more important. You take care. It is near. Um, there, in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within its depths. A vague shadow, an outline, a nightmare come to life. A wave of odious chirruping and rustling emanates from the shadow. A sound piercing like hot irons on sickly flesh and bone. The traitors fall to the knees before the shadow to re reverent ecstasy and the wounded girl crashes in her death throes. Misha Collins is determined to fight off the illusion. Hey, I made a will check, finally. My force of the attack through uh, originating in a vision is terrifying, but Misha Collins is stronger. She shakes off the pain and torpor, but alas, the one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken and exhausted. A monster shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. It is not real, it exists only in the strange vision or memory. But the thrill of fear it provokes is more than real. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of Daskari, the terrifying demon lord. In a moment as swift as thought itself, the monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one they called Lariel. The foolish angel is struggling on the rocks like a fly with its wings torn off. It towards the shadow. Its voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whispering to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old, and quavering. 
Where is your goddess angel? Where is her self-assured herald? How is it that you are dying here alone so far from the light of your heaven? A strange comment develops the thoughts of the one called Lariel. He realizes, recognizes who stands before him and he knows he will never bow before these, this enemy. The flaming sword flares life in his hand. Cu bright cure flickering with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam through stained glass. Slash, the blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh and the monster recoils with a howl releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rocks. His vitality is ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword and with his last burst of strength, plunges it into the rock. Misha Khan senses that the vision is fading, that the rush of thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing he hears is this. You will kill me, monster. This is, I know. But one day, someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will take it up and save, the in save and protect the innocent. Uh, the vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of color. Mishkal calls does not hear the final words, but seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips, and with them, something else. The heat blazing in Misha Collins' chest fades away, the edge of the scarlet wound closed, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Misha Collins sees the flaming sword in his hand, or rather, its outline, the memory of what he had sword looked like. With a final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes, and the light is drawn into his hand. Misha Collins senses it will return. All he needs to do is call it. Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. Sila kneels before the light, offering up a prayer to Yomade. That, that was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? I think I saw the memories of Lario, the angel who died here. Lario? That really was Lario? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us. Get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wentuag, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff, because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you and Sul, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Carl's angel mythic path. Real light of heaven. It seems I can control it. You saw it too, the trace of dying girl? Your group, you, me, Wendu, and the light of heaven that sort of got uh, sucked into you. Any chance you can whip it out again? We do kind of need it. Look, dude, I, I can't just whip it out for you. I'm sorry I don't swing that way. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous. And when I'm upset. And when I'm happy. A anyway, what I said, it came out wrong. We need to bring you to Chief Sul. You can show everyone the light of heaven, we'll rally the tribe and go into the maze and we'll get back our kin. And what if he can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. Right, let's see what this has to say. Requires Angel Mythic Path. It seems like I can control it. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. Yeah, Sila is just super happy to be alive. She is the golden retriever of our party. This power... 
is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then... The perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. It is to your chief, and I'll decide if I'm going to help you or not. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. You can't hide from me. Now what is that? Sometimes interacting with an object requires a skill check, you don't say. Successful skill check may be necessary for various tasks, climbing over an obstacle, picking a lock on a door or chest, disarming a trap, uh, excuse me, moving something heavy, reading an inscription in an ancient language, and many other different tasks require different skills. If you have several different characters, select at the same time the action will be performed by the character with the highest skill bonus. All right, let's see who these nerds are. Let's see what additional uh, ridiculous um, things. So Sila is awful good human. Like, is that just not going to tell me what the what her actual class is? Okay, so protector from evil. That's pretty rad. Um, do I have a mythic path? Tells me Spirit Hunter. She just straight up paladin. Zen Archer. That's interesting. Lawful Neutral. Does it. Where? I, I've always found these to be Mongrel. Okay. Half Elf. Human. Asimar. Mongrel. Mongrel. She's also a Mongrel. Neutral Evil. So she's eviler than other. She's a fighter. That's. But the many things I expected her to be a fighter is not one. The deadly and cunning huntress from the Mongol tribe left her home to travel to the surface with her new commander. She inhabited a harsh and brutal world where the weak inevitably became prey for the strong. So she chose to become strong. Is there anything in the world she wouldn't do in her quest for power or will she, survival always remain her primary instinct? On the Mongols, a curious sight even for the distorted land of the world wound. Son of the First Crusaders, a child of the caves beneath Kenebras, he followed his new leader up to the light of the foreign sky. It seems that nothing can shake his composure, but is that really true? How strong is a man's resolve built upon a self-imposed death sentence? Some monks seem to become with weapon entirely the bow. The Zen archer takes the weapon. Most other monks are hew and seeks perfection in the pull of a top bow string, the flex of the bow's limbs, and the play of a arrow fired true. Not fired. An arrow is not fired. I really, I'm, I'm standing my ground here. This is the hill I'm dying on. It is not fired. It is loosed. Command is not fire. It is loose. Fire only applies to. Wait for it. Firearms. I'm gonna die on this hill, people. I'm doing it right here, right now. That's and you know what that means. That means we got to quick save it. Just super, just super fast. Grab some of this crap. Let's just have another look around. As how we roll on this, on this piece. All right, collect all those. I've got a whole set of eyes. Or what's this gotta say? Just we just double check and it's just super fast. Can we can I click on this again? Statue of an unknown knight. The technique is crude, but the figure is clearly crafted with genuine feeling. Will guide us. It does look a lot nicer. Let's be real. It does like this is all super sexy. So, props to Alcat for like going next level with this. Here we go, people. A quick save because I'm not picking that crap up again. Y'all got anything on you? Just as a curiosity, like what are you wearing? He's wearing. Bupkiss. 
but I do call him. Oh, look at that. It actually shows the braces and everything. Interesting. Um, and so his charisma sucks, which is hilarious. Like, again, he's the most charismatic one we're, we're interacting with, but his charisma is balls. Like, on the bright side, his stats are pretty kick-ass. His con sucks, donkey balls. Um, let's see what we got with her. Her dex is next level. Her charisma is balls. Um, character. Let's see if this survival of the fittest. It's got a bow on her, right? One bow. Be nice if it, it showed us more about her, like, Mongrel. For most people, the Mongols are more than an urban legend. They are believed to be the descendants of those who fought the First Crusade when the Crusaders had little experience in dealing with the unique hazards the world wound presented. As the story goes, during the First Crusade, many unknowingly exposed themselves to foul energies and nightmarish radiations. In years that followed, a shocking number of ch children born to the Crusaders were hideously deformed. Many of these unfortunate innocents were put to death by overzealous inquisitors or even fellow Crusaders, and some parents fled underground to raise their children outside the light of intolerance. Whether or not the story is true, the Mongols are quite real and have the best underground catacombs that uh, caverns below the city and caverns below the city there we go despite their monstrous appearance mongrels are generally hard-working and peaceful creatures no two mongrels look the same each of them usually has characteristics from at least a half dozen different creatures this strange mixture enforces mongrels place away from society for they are shunned by all who fear their twisted appearance mistaken as enemies by all mongrels prefer to be left alone a tragically short lifespan limits the creatures population growth mongrels rarely live past 35 years interesting Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. <laughs> Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of the tabletop RPG Pathfinder, which uses dice for determining outcomes from various actions. The most commonly used dice has 20 sides. It's the die you roll during your attacks and skill checks. When you each roll a die, da, 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 trying to get a roll your character Lan got the result 26. This result is the sum of the dice roll, which was 19, and various modifiers, such as the mobility skill bonus. The uh, attack difficulty was 14, so 26 is not lower than 14. The attempt has been successful story all right are we in trouble yet do not speak do not waver all right well, I'll just delay her to the end of the turn except Seela to move up a little bit. I guess Seela's our tank. She's the Valerie of this playthrough. You've crossed the wrong month. Looks like we got him. Godspeed. Okay, combat log, I get it. When stuff happens, we get a log. I'm sure we could go to what is almost assuredly did we just pick that up I guess we did yeah, it's over here bugs is bugs is precious meditate on your mistakes we will Is there, is there more guys or there we go i wish there was an overwatch option let's just see if we can get that to block the pass here that did not go the way it hoped. We shall overcome. Keisha Collins was not having that. Okay.
Let us press on. So this looks like it might be leading to progress. So let's go back here and check this out. Because over here, there was this. So sorry, I'm still working on the uh, camera rotation thing. The mongrel did it. Wow, she's got like none hit points. Holy crap. No match for me. So this hangs over here, I guess. Maybe small earth elementals. Oh, this can't be good. Oh. Okay. You won't survive me. I'll rip you apart. Yeah. The light take you. Do not hold back. What's that there? What's this? Cure light wounds. Hey, that's great, actually. Can she use it? She sure can. She sure shooting can. So the question now becomes. Well. Looks like we're going to be stacking up potions again, Mikey. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. I don't know why I keep doing that. I should change those. I'm so used to using the uh, rotation keys from DDO that I get confused easily. Which is not really surprising but still our path leads like to be looking up I was successful in my search heartbeat quickens endure this I don't know what she's good for She can't do much of anything. No match for me. Strike as one. Okay. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Nice. I will guide us. Is that master a great start better than the one I'm using? him because it's whatever um kind of thinking that she might need can she use can't use the bow that sucks she can use a buckler debating if i want my boy here to uh is this, what is this a small shield light shield we go this and then Cold Iron Longsword, Sword Great Sword, and I don't know why they're Cold Iron. Actually, I'll just do this, this, and go that. I don't know if this is any better or worse than what we were doing, but it does give me more defense. Because Longsword's what, D8 damage, and the 
thing is what? 2d12. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the damage at this point. The the AC difference I don't think matters that much. Kind of counterintuitive, they don't turn the way you expect. Underbite glances at Lan, who's fixing his slip bowstring and quickly walks after you. Her cat like eyes go from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you. Don't show the light of heaven to Saul. Uh, Land is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. Land, one way grimaces and a girl husky snarl and pearls in the throat. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. You consider the mongrels to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors, I believe that my people are worthy of greatness. But we are strong and can do many things. That's why we were chased down here. We scared people. But it's one thing to be hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. She leans closer, her pupils dilating. I've been there. I had spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought, but we weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's a cunning and full of traps. It's dark as the primordial night. And if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you and soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall like the beating of your heart. And the bag looks away. I had to learn from my friend's mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst into the maze with no idea where they're going. All because Lan believes that a glowing sword will solve all our problems. You don't want to say this kid's lost in the maze? I do want to, but I'm not going to risk the future of the chart for the sake of a few stupid kids. Chief Saul is hesitant and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Lance, the only one who benefits from these childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to and find them, or whatever's left of them. Without any heroics, relying only on myself, risking only my own life. Wonder why slows. You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find a way out to the surface. But let's go. Don't show the teeth of light, and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. Oh, that's a twist. Leaving location. Click this icon to leave the location. To leave your whole party needs to be near it. Before leaving the location, you'll need to be able to review click uh, what you've left behind. All right. Let's do a quick thing here. I don't know if there's anything down here. I think I cleaned them all up. To Neath Hole. Alright, well, I guess nobody's got anything to say. I'm just gonna wander in a bunch of strangers completely doing whatever. Let's see. Godspeed. Okay, nothing exciting over there. Your first impression of the Mongol village is of a squalid dump with the orders to match. Unblinking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom and deformed shadows slope between the huts as you see some of the Mongols gutting white eyeless fish while others are repairing fishing nets. On the sign of a normal village noise, but tense expectation hangs in the air. A heavy set aged Mongol slowly shuffles his way towards you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face is a distinctly rat-like appearance with pronounced teeth, and you hear a rattling sound in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplander, eh? End times are punished, indeed. Chief Saul, we found the angel sword, and we found the one who can wield it. Lamb points at the yet a vision, now the angel sword together the light of heaven are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe. Anyone who can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Throws his hand with a ragged, broken fingernail. Ah, Lan. Always streaming. Always talking. You're too hasty. Too hasty for your own good. 
It's going to get you in trouble. The soul opens up its eyes and down. Not that with the light of heaven. That's too good for us. We kind of don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Lance trusts people because he likes to believe. Isn't that right, Lan? I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show the life. Dialogues often restricted by mythic paths. Throughout the game, you will occasionally encounter colored options marked by an associated with a specific mythic path. There are dialogue branches that embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of mythic powers. In the early stages of the game, these options must be selected in order to gain the opportunity to set out on the corresponding mythic path. Once your mythic path is set, unique alternatives inaccessible to other mythic paths will become available to you. I wonder why stares at you intently like a cat watching a bird and shakes her head in warning. Is there anyone else from the surface here? Forms to the side. There he is. Hale and hearty and prim as a peacock, just like me. So last and quickly he turns to business. She's not good. Too many uplanders. Not good. She's not right. What are you up to here? We're not one of us. We're not one of our kind. When the time comes, we'll come to you, not you to us. What do I do? I'm a paladin. And I said I'd think about it, but I don't want to alienate the spider cat girl. What can I do? All right. Sorry. Sorry, cat, spider girl. Heavenly flame flirts life at your unspoken command. The bright, pure, dancing, and multicolored sparks some beams through the stained glass. The mongrels abandon their tasks and stare transfixed. The light is bright but not blinding. It is warm but warm to the soul deep. Formed to earth and action was lawful. The soul is silent for a while. Tears are streaming down his side. Pale face, but the man doesn't even care to wipe them away. It's so much true. The angel did not forsake us. No. He came back. Back from the dead to save, to save our children. That gives you an auto thanks. Scale to half of faces are different, but the human half is visibly relieved that he wasn't sure if this time would support him. It's the suit. Now you can see the fisherman. He touches these husky men and women. Their blood will be on your hands. I'm not responsible for others' decisions. We have the blessing of the angels. We will survive and help the young tribes. You see the bright light, and now you think of the maze is no match for you. You always think the worst when do we're not on our own in this anymore we've got allies well a couple at least but one good fighters were 10 battles you have the right of it land but we're neithers we're going to wait i sent a messenger to summon all the tribes i will take time yes but they will all come they will all come for the light wait land wait uplanders rest a while in our huts and come our home ashore home all right chief understood let's hope that a few hours isn't the difference between life and death for those kids if they ask me what took us so long we'll ask that was your decision Combat level and other teams give your characters experience points. After accumulating a certain level of experience, your characters will gain another level. This allows you to select a new class or to raise their level in a class they already have, along with other advantages such as increased hit points. Well, bet you weren't thinking you'd get to judge my life choices today. Warrior of the Holy Light. Lay on hand, sure. And persuasion. Religion. Next. She's got no points. Like legit, she's got no points. Oh, she just auto levels. Okay, interesting. I don't know. I guess she just she was just too dumb. She just didn't have points. Um about dex is their highest with wisdom and cha okay so she's a spirit so she's gonna want to lean on her 
wisdom. All right. All right, let's get out of here. Let's do this again. Next. Cha is on her thing, so we're going to go. Oh, I can't put points into that. Oh, that's interesting. So they do auto level. Like they've got things. Nice plant, I guess. Is, I don't get a choice here. Do I cancel? Right, next. Yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna auto level them. I don't even know. <laughs> Truthfully, I just I do not know. I'll just auto level next. Next. We have the bow longbow. Nice, we have the bow short bow. Better. Bravery. Interesting. See, that's cool. I like that they they shore them up. I th this might be on the advanced Pathfinder rules. I'm glad they shorted it up a little bit because they, some of them are not super rad. Next. Exhausted? Fatigued. First off, let's go rob some people. Nice. Same level. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Didn't he say there was another guy over here for us to talk to? Tell me about Wendewag. Oh, Wendewag, our beauty, our huntress. Who is more skilled than Wendewag? There are braver fighters, yes, but brave doesn't mean skilled. Wendewag is the one only one to go to the maze and come out again. The others and everything she has to say. Tell me about Mongrels. Now while we're the Crusaders under the ground, the children of the first Crusaders, the world wound touches everyone. Look at us. We are all marked by it. The Uplanders didn't like it. They drove us down here. But we have a secret. We're waiting. We're waiting when the shield maze falls. It's the end of our lives down here. We will go up to the surface to fight. Until then, we don't. This is here. Tell me about Lan. Land. Sel makes a big gesture. He's not one of us. No, not one of us. His father was one of us, but his mother, no. They took him up to the surface. They ruined him as a child. And they came back, but he wasn't one of us. A good hunter, yes, but the feels trapped down here. But he can't go up there either. It's not safe. He wouldn't lash a gong. Thank you for your answers. Uh, can I... Can I just clarify? Are we uplanders or prisoners or guests here? You have drawn weapons against us? No. Have you killed us? No. Have you stolen our food? No. Guests. What are we going to do now? The messenger is swift. He'll rally the tribes. All of them. The angel's light is with us, so we will follow it now. Go to the rest. Eat. Right here. Let us press on. Am I imagining that? But he said there's another uplander here. There we go. Who's this nerd? Horgus Gwern. Uh, finally, summoned from the surface was Bingo Lose Hope. An elderly man in expensive but not ostentatious clothes approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gworm. Yes, that Gworm. You no doubt have heard of me any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? Truly our first crew out to the city then. Wouldn't have picked the worst time, that's for certain. Only just arrived and the sea's been raised to rubble. You should know that you're looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in Canabras. I may not be as well known as certain swaggering loudmouths who spend their lives traipsing from one ball to the next but the Gorm trading company is one of the pillars of the city i'll have you know did you see the marquees in the square i paid for those tried to festival delicacies you have a squirm horgus Gorm to thank for that how did you end up here uh for a moment horgus eyes focus on camellia before his uh, gaze returns to you like everyone else 
I went down when the accursed beetle cleaved the ground and twenty beneath our feet. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall, and I'm doubly lucky that I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings and instead came across hunters from the settlement. Though I must say that when I first glimpsed their uh, physiognomies, my life flashed before my very eyes, but they turned out to be decent chaps, frightening to look at, but able to keep a bargain. You don't speak very kindly of the Mongols, even though they saved your life. In words for people with hours to fritter away in pleasantry. As Horgus Squirm speaks his mind, and he pays for his services rendered not with kind words, but with hard coin. I gave the Mongols my dagger in exchange for their help. Its handle is worth more than their own whole village. What kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. I have no intention of seeing out the rest of my days in this village, I suspect. I must find a route back to the surface of the city if there's anything left of it. I'm a moderately pious man, and I don't mind relying on the help of a person who has the favor of the gods, especially with so many demons lurking about. If you're strong, it will be no trouble to you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I can't go crawling around through the caves playing at scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city, and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. I suggest we help this man. It's good to have friends among the Kinnabrites elite. Two thousand? Failed. One, ten thousand, or a hundred. No, let's not be measured. Let's say a million. Initial offer is a king's ransom of lucky. Never seen so much gold in all your life. It's non negotiable. I said a thousand. That's my final offer. Deal. But in the meantime, it's because city. We have to go. That sucks, man. I, I, I see that the, the, the DC checks are, are still as ridiculous as they always were. Charging me out of having to spend less time um, surveilling on a citizen and more time to have the real spies and demon worshippers. For you an idea, how come I didn't think of it? Now, if only the cultists would tell us they were cultists, then we wouldn't have to waste time investigating honest citizens who decide to go all cloak and dagger right under our noses. Set some distance apart, stopping each other from an idle fashion that testifies their long acquaintance and mutual dislike. And you notice that they quickly fall silent. What's the babble be between you two about? It's an old matter. Mrs. Tira Blade here. There's a notion of spying on me, then rummaging through my goods. I ask you, do I look like a cultist? Cultists don't tend to look like cultists, you know. That's kind of the whole problem. And you, Mr. Gworm, built a whole secret operation of buying and smuggling into the city. What was it? Oh yeah, magical weapons. How was I supposed to know that all the rigmarole with middlemen was so you could anonymously donate supplies to the crusade? You see, I have a reputation to uphold, one that I value most highly. Horgus Gorm is a hard-nosed businessman, not a good fairy from a tale. Yes, I care about my city. Yes, I wish to see that its defenders, my defenders, were well-fed, healthy, and well-armed. But to make those donations openly was unthinkable. I might as well hang a sign outside my door welcoming in every sponger, leech, and parasite in the city. He's not wrong. <laughs> he is not wrong. That is a sad, sad statement. I appreciate your help with the crusade. No jokes. You you're an alright bloke, but carrying it on secret dealings in the city, the teaming with cultists is a huge pain in the backside for those of us whose job it is to keep an eye on that sort of thing. Nevia has a leg. And Nevia scrunches up her nose. Well, it hasn't fallen off yet, so that's good. They bandaged me up all nice and smeared some uh, stinking stuff on the wound, so it looks like it's gonna live. They say wait a day and I'll be alright as rain. I'm so I'm waiting. What do you think is happening in the city now? Perhaps the city is no more. If Descari himself appeared, there's no telling how bad things are. Can you hold off on writing our obituaries just yet? The city's full of fighters, and besides that, it's barely a stone's throw from Neros... Nerosi. Capital city, the greatest state or state of Mendev. Nerosian is designed first and foremost as a defensive fortification to hold back the endless demonic hordes of the world. Nerosian is also a holy city of Yomade. Many of the nobles' residents are devout worshippers of Yomade, including Queen Galfrey, the ruler of Mendev. The cruciform cathedral to Yomade is central to both Nerosian's physical structure and the defensive of the city. The cathedral also draws faithful pilgrims from afar to worship at the renowned holy site. This ain't Discari's home turf. He's gonna have to retreat or else fight off the whole Mendevian army. What do you think of the Mongols? I thought they were just a story of the sort of things drunks in the taverns would come out with. Now I discovered that it's too well. What can I possibly think of them? The poor creatures, they're most unfortunate with their faces and their minds so deformed it's a miracle they're even alive. 
Part of the boggles my eyes that the descendants of the first crusaders. All these years they've been living beneath our feet in caves in the dirt. If I'd known the legends about them are true, I'd have dedicated my life to getting them out of this place. To what end? The people of Kenebras would have stoned them on sight, and the prelate whole room would have had them tossed on a pyre en masse. Whatever the ills of this place, it is their home. How long do you think they have survived on the surface? What are you going to do when you get back to the surface? I'm going to go home. Last I knew, I owned a very fine mansion. I shall see if it's still standing or if I am now homeless. I'm going to find Irabeth. She's my wife and the leader of the Eagle Watch. As long as she lives, she knows that I won't allow Canterbury to fall. Let's go. Go on then and don't dilly dally. The sooner we get out of here, the likely we are to find some people still alive up there. Take care of yourself. First aid kit. Interesting. Mutated fish. Surely nothing else can come of that. Vendors allow you to buy weapons, armor, spell scrolls, potions, and other things. Die reckon buy the trophies you bought from the caves and sell things you might need in, in adventures. Wait, for example, potion of cure light wounds. You there, a tall woman with face deformed by an enormous swelling, smiles broadly at least, showing off her double row of small sharp teeth. You come from the surface, you must be tough to make it all the way here, never thought I'd see the day. Call me Dyra, let's trade. Who are you? People around here call me all sorts. Dyra the hoarder, Dyra the coin, Dyra the city girl. Like that's a bad thing. I trawl these caves, picking up all kinds of things from the surface that wash down here through your sewers. I trade all kinds of junk for food and clothes, but I only part with the best finds for coins. When the coins forget what money is, then I have no use for you. If you want city goods, you have to pay for them with gold like city folk. Why are you so eager to trade with me? Because all the people here are no better than animals now. Jerry learns some surprising anger before becoming uh, overcome with coughing. Wiping her mouth, she continues. Our forefathers lived in the city like you. Our people love to reminisce about armies, knights, crusades, but I don't care. Couldn't care less about that. Savages with clubs can fight a war, only so they so can buy and sell. Let's trade. Some would appear. Cooler and ammunition. Do I got gold? Box cell. Um, now, where's that stupid short spear? Don't know if I need to get rid of the light mace or the masterwork dagger just yet. Is that the short spear? Give me one. I wonder what is, what is this? I guess that's just a thing for a coin. Um, Alright. Deal. Purifying solution. I can't help but feel we're gonna need that. And this. Not the fish. We got the fish. Is everybody. She doesn't have anything? She can wear anything she wants, I guess. She's a fighter. He can't wear anything. Um, yeah. Just literally got nothing, so I guess. I don't know for her. Deal? Come. 
don't think I can wear any of these, right? Yeah. So for now, I'm not going to do anything. He doesn't need... What's he using here? We have lucky bracers. Okay, I'm sure we picked those up, but I'll take it. Did she have... Um, let's trade. Did she have anything looking like a shield in here? Sorry. What am I looking at? Didn't realize up here she uh, had a bunch of like actually pretty rad stuff. To cure light wounds, chaos protection, evil. Not really a concern right this second. Surprising that there's no shield. That's interesting. Okay. About so we'll just quick save it here. For whatever that was. Our path leads on. Okay, so I guess this is out of the city. But we are exhausted, so we're just gonna move our way over here. Okay, there was the rest. Again, just another quick save because I don't want to pick those things up again. Messenger, return. The tribes are gathering at the entrance to the maze. Our people have already gone there. I warned Avini and told the old guy won't even acknowledge me. Take your time. There's no rush. The most important people always show up late. Everything's going to plan, but one thing is bothering me. Wendawag's gone. All the tribes, so a whole army is marching on the maze then? By Mongrel Standard's test, you don't be too disappointed when you see the reality. There aren't many of us who can hold a weapon, so if you're still who can do any damage with one. What do you think happened to Wendawag? I don't know. She was always stubborn. Maybe she decided to do it all on her own. I hope she comes back, but we'll struggle without her, and she'll struggle without us, no matter how hard she tries to deny it. What about Harenia and Horgus? We're just going to leave them here. Once we've cleared the maze, um, the way ahead will be safe. If any no state to fight, and that Horgus guy he doesn't look like he'll shift an instant we roll the red carpet all the way to the exit. Still, are you sure the maze is the only way to the surface? There's another passage, the one I used with my dad when we left and then came back. The chief's back then, we found it and filled it in to stop anybody else going to the ancestors' wishes. And that what the ancestors wanted was for everyone to go through the maze. I'm not sure of anything right now, but we ha don't have a choice. We'll only go forward. There are other passages, but they're far from here. And with all these earthquakes, who knows what condition they're in now. So our best bet is the maze. If it doesn't lead anywhere, we can consider our next move. Let's go. We've no time to lose. Now let's go. Before we do, I thank you. I was so happy I forgot to thank you before but we've done something no one else has in a long time you've given the mongrels hope it's like we're starting to believe that there were something now that we had the power of the angels on our side it won't change anything of course but at least you'll help us save the young ones hopefully let's go through the main gate so does it tell us where we're supposed to be going that's interesting i haven't even been down here yet Let's see what's down here. I will guide us. down here that was a little odd but all right why can't 
just not go here? Okay, so I think the problem is we're just looking at it from the wrong angle. Godspeed. So we can't let that go. We gotta see what's going on over here. Very slowly getting away. This is kind of fun the way they got this all handled out. We march ahead. Absolutely be sure that we were not missing anything. So we've got the whole thing cleared up as much as we can. <laughs> Steelmaster, hey, I just saw you come up now. Ralph of the Righteous, good morning. So what did you decide upon for our character? Missed it sadly. Oh, I just, uh, I'm not creative, so I started with... Um, Paladin, as we call him, Sword Jesus, and uh, he's an Asimar, and that's about as far as we got. Nothing terribly exciting to this point. I named him Misha Collins, but um, sadly. Um, his hair doesn't match. That's me. It's kind of eating me alive inside. Most enemies try to attack your most vulnerable party members. You can always use the optional formation instead of adjusting your party's formation manual. This is the first formation on the list. It will align your party automatically, putting the strongest members in the front row. Just a minute. Am I seriously third in line? Get out of here. That's how that looks. She got more hit points than me? Yeah, she does have- No, she doesn't even have more hit points than me. No, I said he's a paladin. He's a- He's a paladin and he is... Uh... Holy- something holy light? Warrior of the holy light. There you go. So if it comes at a steep, I haven't figured out what that's doing for me, if anything, so. <laughs> it just looked like it was giving up practically nothing, so. I gotta figure out what to do with her, because it seems that, uh, as it stands right now. Cut you wide open. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Into the fray. Attack. And I am using the same voice as I was using in the last one. The spirits demand your blood. Do they? You won't survive me. No reason to pause. Uh, back skin everyone's skin skinning failed lame it's like two gold we missed out on there we go 
can't turn the uh, camera, so that's pretty rad. Look at all these guys. Tribes are gathering. Shun, shun, we will attack. How long can we wait? Other tribes haven't turned up yet. We're going to wait for them. Just another while longer. Knowing so, the preparations will take the better part of the day. Let's look around the maze of sun and see what's what. Right, so what are you what are you nerds hiding over here? Right. I will guide us. Do not be apparently a giant fly. You are today's sacrifice. Endure this. Uh, oh, hold on. I, man, there's the whole exchange is gone on here. Oh, man, hold on a sec. Can I... Uh, options? Is there an option to set this to full screen windowed? I actually can't talk to you. can't talk to you guys. It's embarrassing. Hold on. I mean, no, I can't even do that. I'm mouse locked here. Let's see. Controls graphics. Anti-aliasing. I don't need that. Exclusive full screen, full screen borderless window. Thank you. Apply. Save. There we go. Look at that. It's a Christmas miracle. All right, let's go back up here to see all the back sauce I'm missing. Good morning, character. Um, you can just adjust the formation to what you want it to be. I will try to say nothing. That's why, but I hated Cam Camilla with a passion. She was sassy and no good in battle. The fact that she wears a necklace that makes it so her actual nature is hidden from the player character seems sus. And you cannot remove it. Bring around more flies. I didn't even realize that. Hold on, I'm gonna have a look at that. I mean, you gotta love this picture. I'm like, oh. But unfortunately, what the heck is this thing? Physical amulet in the shape of a snake made from bone. The pendant is a snake skull. The enchantments on the amulet allow the wearer to conceal their alignment. Yeah, that's that's a bit sus. It's a bit sus right there. I came all the way over here and all I got was two young flies and a BS raft. It's hard nonsense right there so Godspeed. you know am i the only one that thinks that there's an awful lot of careful stonework for a place that's supposed to be a crack in the ground anyway let's just quick save it here y'all been hooking this place up look at this why y'all not living in here what is wrong with these people, other than the fact they're mutants? Okay, it's a little bit demony, but other than that, it's... I mean, look at this carpet. I, I'd totally rock that in my house. Tile work is on point. Blood Spain banners, maybe not so much. But, you know... Surrounded by paladins, it's right to be careful. True, paladins are pretty, pretty nosy. I believe it's a temple. It, it might radiate evil, but some dirt piles and some rocks make it like a part of the cave. To each his own with the bloodstained banners. Not judging here. I mean, I I rock a bloodstained banner because I'm just metal AF. But like other people, like you know. Gotta keep it, gotta keep it, uh, cut the grass so the neighbors don't talk, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I never actually did in real life, I just, I let the neighbors talk and gripe, actually, but, um, 
that's just me and I'm a douche. I'm sure a lot of people were horrified at my diatribe about not cutting the grass, but I'm like, whatever I do that well. All right, so. Baphomet cultists. I was going to say, these look like Baphomet heads. It's ironic that that's actually just a, a thing that exists. Okay, so. I'm going to say hello once again in the traditional manner of my people. Go for their heart. I like to think like Camilla seems to be like the the less enjoyable Octavia. Oh, that's a that's a uh, oh that's bad that's not good news. So, no, no. Pardon me, really. I'll cut you wide open. Neophyte sharpshooter. All right, let's get over here. Guide my blade. You lost the wrong mark. Strike as one. Okay, that worked. I like that they miss a lot more. Alright. Let's loot some corpses. Squat bus, take it. Master Reclave, sure why not. Beggar. And at this rate, I kinda I beggars can't be choosers. I need everything I can pick up off these guys. Alright. Let me mount stand on the corpse. Let me fight sharpshooter. Punching dagger. Okay. What's that? Your armor? All right. Let's see what we got. What does this break the lock? Uh, forget it. It's frustrating that I don't have anyone in my party with uh, trickery. That's that's not great. Sting through the wall thing is awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. I want to give you a hint, but it's a small foreshadow for something inside the current part where you're at. Can we say something, or should I say nothing? It's just a small reveal. Uh, eventually if you go to that part of the temple. So when you see two options like that, it's to pick the lock and break X percentage or breaking the lock. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't mind. Let's uh, open this door and see what we got. You can give me a small reveal for this thing. I'll allow it this time because what do I do? I've got no, nobody that can disarm traps. Like literally no one. Oh, there it is. That's neat. I hope you appreciate this. Why did she not? Wait a minute. She got she got trickery. Let's where's her skills at? She's got trickery. Why didn't she pick the lock? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So and obviously like pick the lock with success percentage or break the lock. So the small hint is that there are pictures of different colors. These colors on the wall early in the temple are Bugger me. So it doesn't just automatically pick the person? That's crappy. I picked it up at least. What's this? Elemental Essence. Blue potions of scribe scrolls. Oh, I like I'm liking the where that's going right now. Our path leads on. What do we got there? 
Bear's Endurance, Scroll of Prayer, and we can use that. Look at all this junk. Tome of the Minotaur, Sermons from the Labyrinth. I was going to leave that up. Revod. If anybody wants to, like, pause it there and read it, they're welcome to do so. I am. Save the last one for me. The ability to rotate the camera is just it's god, god tier. You are today's sacrifice! Yeah, she's like the poor man's. She's like Octavia and Ragongar in, in one, kind of. You won't survive me. This guy's a, a bit tankier than the other ones. I like that it hasn't immediately thrown us into a battle that we can't possibly win like the first game did. Pretty, pretty stoked about that. The deed is done. Extensive but slightly watered down his collection of writings on rituals and demon worship. Hey, got 11 experience. Nice. Can't hide from me. Nice. What do we got here? Restoration. Nice. Both strength. Also great. A lot of inflict wounds. Why so many inflict wounds? Am I going to like run into a Dom Peer in here or something? Certainly hope so. That'd be fun. Sadly, dogs are flipping out and we are out of time for today. So I would like to thank everybody who stopped by to see me. Um, you know, initial like first gut reaction. Immediately, I already like it better than than uh, Kingmaker. Like it's just it seems to have smoothed out a lot of the kinks. So I am once again feeling energized to continue playing this. I love the way it looks. It seems like it's going to be fun. Um, so I hope you all are okay with it. I'll just do this on my off days and we'll go from there. Um, I will be back again bright and early tomorrow morning at 0, 930 hours. That is 930 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to play some more um, stuff. Did I just get raided? Like I just got a bunch of people just showed up. Hmm. Uh, for a puzzle in the side temple for hidden blade, single longsword that is kind of OP longsword has fallen. Paladin of Yomade. I am a paladin of Yomade, and you can loot stuff without getting judged. So she is proficient with rapier and buckler and expo, and she said she uses finesse weapons. It's an evil temple. Love, wrath, and righteous. I am sexy for you. Have a good afternoon. Yeah, um, is there anybody else online? We're just going to do a quick uh, shuffle and send some people over to somebody who needs it. Um, let's see if any of my other people are online here. Doing it the hard way. But yeah, I will be back again tomorrow to play some more uh, hardcore DDO. So I'd be happy to see that. Oh man, none of my, none of my peeps are hanging out. So I guess you're all going to have to scatter to the winds at this point. Um, but I would like to thank everybody who stopped by and, uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, then I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope that wherever you are, you are safe and we will talk to you all again soon. So take care.